Why is that? You guys, what, are, what are you guys taking? I don't know. What are you guys taking? taking? What are you taking? What are you taking? Are you taking, taking, you're taking, you're taking, you're taking giving it to the pool? Ours. You can bring it back to the want. hood? Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. This is the trophy right here. All right, so I know that you guys are from upstate, the 845 area, right? Tell me a little bit about the well, love that they I'm show actually, you up here. I'm actually from the Bronx, Thank born you. and raised. Say Ooh, that, Bronx, say that. Bronx. Yeah, but, but, but don't, Bronx, but don't get it twisted, though. I moved upstate 2009, so mm -hmm. from 2010 to, like, current, I've been living upstate, so it's like I, I show love to both. I mean, that's a good like ten years plus. Plus, yeah, upstate. I, that they don't even—they took my hood pass away. They said I'm an upstate guy. Yeah, that's now. what I'm saying. Cause like I'm sorry, but like you're not, I'm not yeah. giving no love in the Bronx. You, 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 you south, you south of Canada. Yeah, I'm sorry. He 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 left a little bit. Yeah, you close to the Canada. <laughs> nah, nah, not even. I'm close to over here. I'm like nah, I was exactly. twenty minutes here. Jacket, jacket. <laughs> so you originally from the Bronx? Where in the Bronx are you from originally? Fort Myriam. No way. Me too. I'm from 183rd. I'm from 196. Oh, 196 and where? Mary. Mary, get out of here. I'm, 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 I live down the block from Murder Hill. You yes. know Murder Hill. Yeah. Marion is 184th Snake Hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Yeah. I was at the bottom of the Snake Hill. That's you crazy. Lying. What you know about I'm Snake lying. Hill? I used to ride First my, my well, I used to ride my skateboard down there. Me too. Yeah, and when, and when it snowed. <laughs> Yo, let me tell <laughs> you. Um, if you're from the Bronx, you know Skate Hill. Um, uh, they call it Murder Hill. Too. Murder Hill. Yeah. Um, because it's kind of crazy, but uh. Yeah, that's definitely a Bronx hood for sure. Um, if you're in the streets, you know about that area. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so um, I want to talk a little bit about um, like this or that. Um, it's a little fun game, kind of break the ice. Um, hold on, my phone is being strange. I wanted to pull up the questions. So we're going to play a little game. And uh, you're going to tell me this or that questions, okay? All right. All right, hold on. Let's get the images up. All right. We're going to do this or that. Pizza or pasta? Pizza is pasta, but pizza, I'm going to go with pizza. Bro, pizza is not pasta. It is pasta. Uh, okay, say, do you think it's in the same? Okay, so sweet or savory? Sweet. Sweet? Yeah. Because you're sweet? I like sweet shit. I like, bad bad I like, guys like sweets? I like sweets. You just, when I go to the studio, I get all the candy. You, oh, you're a candy guy? Yeah, what kind I'm of sweets are you talking? I get sweetest fish. I, <gasps> get, I love sweetest fish. Yeah, sweetest fish is my go-to. I get a lot of Twizzlers. A lot of people don't like Twizzlers, but I, I like me you some know, Twizzlers. You know, I like to munch on Twizzlers. I feel like it's a good munchy kind of snack. Yeah. Um, and it's low calorie, too, so it's like oh, kind of fake I ain't know nothing about the calories. But. All right. So what are we doing? Are we doing breakfast or brunch? Brunch. Brunch, we love brunch because it comes with mimosas. Well, by the time I wake up, it's brunch. Right? I so make breakfast. what's your favorite brunch meal? I could do the I could go to the mango with the mango, salami. Mango, but that's frito. that's not brunch. That's breakfast, that's lunch, not, and dinner. You can eat yo, that that's whenever. what I'm saying. You can't, you can't <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. No, brunch, brunch. Like, what do you like? Like steak and eggs. That's brunch. You know what's crazy? I never did steak and eggs. Bro. I never did steak and eggs. When I say You're brunch, it's like bro. I make breakfast at 12, 1 o'clock. Are you eating mango? I'll eat mango. I see. I'll, I'll, I'll eat. Um, what I was going to mention, uh, so that's like your go-to, mango tres golpes? No, no, no. My go-to would be like some scrambled eggs, fries, bacon. Ooh. Sausage. Biscuits, croissants. Yum, yum, yum. That sounds really yummy. Did you eat breakfast this morning? I didn't, actually. I'm eating right after this. Bendito, I was going to... You got to eat breakfast before the morning influence. We always talk about breakfast know, here I in know, the morning. I know, but oh. I would have came a little later if I had eaten breakfast. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So let's talk about... um, Let's talk about Cardi B for a quick second. Um, oh. So I know that you sent me like a video of her like dancing to your song and yeah. she didn't even know it was you on on the song and yeah. she's like just i saw the video she's like on the counter with like a corona or something yeah and she's drinking her corona lit yeah, in, her bata. in her bata just chilling yeah. and she's um singing your song and she's like who is this who is this who is this yeah so tell me that story um so basically i had dropped the record the summer before covid hit and towards the end of the summer, she had did that. She had went on Instagram looking for the record. It was already going crazy in the club. Shout out to Fabio, promoter, and Dykeman. Um, and she had she had asked for the record, and maybe like two days later, she found the record, and she was singing on her Instagram live. And then a day after that, that's when she did the video that you had saw. Oh, the the the, 
Oh, the standing up on the on, on the, the table counter, video. Twerking to the oh, song. so she had already heard the song prior to that. That wasn't the first time she heard no, the track. No. But that was the first time she like was like, oh, I found it. Let's play it. Let's that was the first time. Like she she was already like kind of, I wanna I don't wanna say teasing, but it for me it was teasing because she was asking for the record, then she was singing the record, and I was just like, oh my god, like what's about to happen what's right a, now? I'm about to blow up. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. Like it's, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm cool. And then she did the video, and then it was just like a surreal moment. Like I couldn't believe it, but I believed it because it was like that's where it was going towards. And it was just crazy. And everything just that whole two weeks after she did that was a surreal. Like I was, really? Yeah. Every, Tell me about it. Like, how did you feel? Like, did you like want to cry out of like pure nah, nah. joy? I, I didn't I stood up. I couldn't go to sleep that night. Oh wow. Because it was just like so Your much mind. stuff started happening. And then it's crazy. Right before I went to sleep, I kept checking my DMs to see if she DM me. And El Alpha ended up DMing me. And he wanted to get on the remix. Who? El Alpha. El Alpha. Yeah. He had I met up with him probably like two days after he DM'd me. I was in high nine seven. I went, I went, um, when we went to the club, we used to go to the clubs heavy, but we went to the club right after she shot it out. Wrap it up. All right. <laughs> so that's the song um, that Cardi B heard of. The song is called Deuce. Deuces. Deuce, Deuce, Deuce. <laughs> and who else is on the track? Bad Guy Chop with my brother. Yo, rest in peace, Nitro. Shout out to AVS Studios. I recorded the track over there. Yeah, everything legendary. R.I.P. We sending love to them. We sending Night. love to them. So we're about to go ahead and play that song, Deuce, for you guys. That's the one that Cardi B was dancing on top of the tables for, you know? So if she like it, Bronx love showing out, right? Get right, love for the Bronx fact. at the, the Matrix studio. You know, we are Bronx started uh, radio station. So go ahead. Tune into that song, Deuces. Streaming online at Party1019.com. This is New York's number one for throwbacks. The new Party1019, a Nexus radio station. Keeps me in a good mood. The most influential urban radio talk show live from the BXNY. Welcome to the Morning Influence. And today we got... The bad guy in the building, the bad guy himself, Wally. Oh, Wally, oh, Wally. He is here. And we just was listening to Deuces, uh, his song with his co writer. I like bad that, Joe. Chapel. Bad guy Chapel. Good looking, bro. Good looking. Yeah, that song was really hard. I could see why Cardi B was twerking to that song because it's giving, it's giving Dykeman, it's giving Uptown. Everybody was twerking to it. Like, how'd you, how'd you, as for her to hear it, you, they was playing it in the club. I missed that part of the, 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 yeah, they was playing. It was in rotation heavy. It was to a point where I would be home. I wouldn't even be outside and I'll get mentions from different people and they'll be in different clubs and it was to the same record. Yeah, I was, I was, I was wondering like how, cause different artists have different ways that they go about getting their songs out there. Do you have like DJ connections, industry connections, or you just outside and you just say the right things. You buy a couple of DJs, a couple of drinks and, and, and <laughs> throw a couple of dollars under the table. So and I, I've done like, I, it was trials and tribulations, but with this record, I gave it to a promoter, my boy, and he gave it to all the DJs. I didn't pay a DJ not one dollar. They played it off with the strength of him. And then I went on Instagram and started giving the songs to influencers and they were making skits to it. And it started okay. going crazy on Instagram with the skits. And then I did a twerk contest. And then that's when she did it. And I was and I was singing it. I was like, Oh, she got into the t- twerk contest. So I was like, yo, if twerk, if Cardi twerks to this, it's over. And she did it. Right. Legendary. That's crazy. Did you know that um Cardi B had came to DSM before? I don't know if you see. Nah, I did it. Matter of fact, but, um, you, when you told me that's when I when you put the video up, I yep. saw it. But yeah, I didn't know. so like uh I, I feel this like that's like a, I feel like it's almost like a full circle moment. Like it's like, okay, you know, she was here, you here. Fire. Bronx is in the building, you Fire. already know. Big this Bronx is, things. Right? This is where it all begins, right here at the DSN network. Um so let's talk about it. Um, you have an exclusive song that's coming out this Thanksgiving. Yes, correct. Thanksgiving Tell Day. me about that song. So the record is called Forever. Mm-hmm. It's Oye Boy Rell's My Brother featuring me and Ruby Red. And it's a different type of record. Like I was stepping outside the box with it. We was having fun with it. And it's a fire record. What it's- you mean when you say stepping out the box? Like if you hear my other songs and you hear this, it's you, different. Yeah, it's very different. Okay, so you're just trying to set that out the box. Yes, yeah. definitely. Okay, cool. So who's on the track? Oye Boy Rouse, my brother, another Bronx native, and Ruby Red. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so uh, what's the inspiration behind the song Forever? Tell us a little bit about what the record's about. Honestly, 
I had went to his house one day. He was playing beats and he was like, yo, I really want to do this beat. And mm-hmm. I just started humming a melody and just staying words. And he was like, this is it, bro. This is it. And then um, we had went to the studio. He had his verse written. She had her verse written. I didn't hear none of their verses. I didn't only had the mumble part of the hook. <laughs> So I had to fill it in while they were reco- well while she recorded her verse. I was uh-huh. mumbling the hook. I did the hook. He did his verse, and then it just all came together perfectly. Wow, that yeah. sounds really really cool. So, do you have any like other upcoming projects or like yes any like press runs you're doing for the track? So right now, besides this song, we me and Oya Rose have another song coming out. After this, we're gonna try to drop it before the new year or right when the new year starts. Okay. I have a tape dropping. I'm working on two tapes, a okay. collaboration tape with Bad Guy Chapo and a tape by myself with feature artists. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to that tape by yourself because yeah. I know like I see a lot of your songs. You have like a lot of features. Usually you have like multiple artists. Um, yeah. I do like your song Pressure. Thank you. I got I, I started to listen to that. That was giving me a vibe. Like it's one I was, of my I was, favorite records. Yeah, it's one of my I'll say it's one of my favorites too. I've been listening to that. So if you guys ever get in tune with um the song Pressure. Uh, you guys should really listen to it. Where can, where can we stream Bad Guy Wally? Everywhere. Literally everywhere. Literally Spotify, everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, Google, uh, everywhere. YouTube, you can go everywhere. Everywhere. You bad Guy Wally. It. All together, one word. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about the Bad Guys movement? Like, what is the Bad Guys movement? So, the Bad Guy movement originally started off of music. So, there's a few artists. We have Bad Guy, we have Bad Guy Chapo, Bad Guy Stacks, Bad Guy Vex, B Dot is, is artists. And then we have people that aren't artists that are bad guys. And then we also have we bad, got- guy, <laughs> bad Guys Apparel. Oh, and- yes. I saw that. You guys got a clothing oh, line, I actually, right? I actually brought you a few things. Oh, I would appreciate that. You got to pull it out so we can I show it. I got you. And then uh, we have Bad Guys Gaming. Where we get- bad Guys Gaming? Yes. We, we heavy in the 2K and we heavy in the Call of Duty. Whoever wants smoke, tap yeah, it. Man, bad guys we, we, want, we definitely want that 2K smoke. I don't really want it because I'm, I'm not as good as I used to be. With my, so I'm like... Tap in, tap in. Bad smoke. guys gaming. Gaming with two Chill. G's at the end. Turn the bad guys into good guys. <laughs> Somebody go beat them. Your so, favorite bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let me ask you a question. This is going to be a fun little piece. Um, who would you do a feature with if you had the chance to do a feature? But like with well, any artist you want, who would you do a feature? I would, like name three artists you would do a feature with. Cardi B. Period. You gotta get Cardi on the track. You know. A boogie. A boogie with the hoodie. And little baby. Little baby. Yeah. You talk about little baby because I was just talking to my sister about little baby and like I feel like he is so influential. Like yeah. uh, the bigger picture. I think that's the name of the song. I feel like it's called. It's, yeah. it's bigger than black and white. You know, mm-hmm. no, with the wrong way of life. That song, I feel like it's so hard. I feel like that was like uh, the first song I ever heard of. Of him? The, yeah. I kid you not. I think that was like the first song that like put him over the edge for me, I would say. Not so much the first song I heard, but the first song that was like, yo, he's going to change the game. Nah, I caught him early on. What did you catch him? Tell I me, caught tell me him. Um, it's a song he has with Young Thug. And that's my dog. Like those two oh. songs. And then he dropped freestyle. The freestyle was the one for me. Like when I heard it, I said, "Nah, he's him, and he's out of here." That really? song, yeah, that was my. This still my favorite song to this day. So if you had the opportunity, you would definitely have Little Baby on the track. Oh yeah, for sure. And a boogie, why a boogie? I mean, I'm I like a boogie, but I'm not a major major fan. I saw his come up firsthand. Like I saw. When I know he's from the hood. I'm not gonna lie. There's all Bronx artists you mentioned except for Lil Baby. Yeah. You know, but tell me but, about. Uh, but like, a boogie was uh-huh. like he was. He made me feel like I can make it, and I don't know him. We're not from the oh. same area, but it's like I heard his music in the club before I even heard him, and then it was like I saw him on YouTube, and he had 15k views, 20k views, and then like literally like in two weeks, I would go anywhere. You hear cars driving back to back playing different songs of his, and I'm like, oh no, nah, he's out of here. Yeah, he's, he's out of here. He's gone. And then I saw him like get out of here, and right. I was like, alright, if he could do it. I could do it. One hundred percent. I I love that. I love when um we see people from our communities like make it. It definitely gives like hope back to the hood, you know. Right, Especially like seeing that. people like. Go ahead. Dee. No, no, no. Seeing people like I finished. I'm gonna just tell you the Swiss beat story like I, that I showed you the other day. Oh yeah, tell me. Tell us about the Swiss beat. No, it's the same thing that he's saying or that you just said that when I used to see Swiss beats walk through the neighborhood, uh, with the NPC under his arm, 
going to the studio, like I had, I you know, I was playing ball and he was just kid wearing K-Swiss, walking through the studio, walking through, you know, he's our, our little homie. And and then next thing you know, he's with DMX. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's what happens when you when you stay focused on what you need to focus on. Right. Yeah, so um, shout out to Swiss Beast, too. He's from the Bronx, you know. Um, I just love seeing it. Like, the Bronx is really on the map now. And I feel like, you know, it took artists like Cardi B, you know, um, to come out and do stuff. Like, me and Cardi was in college at the same time at BMCC. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew the club that she was dancing at. You know what I'm saying? So, to understand, like, that she's been through so much and, like, came out on top is, like, a, a underdog story. I feel like a lot of these artists um, out of the Bronx are under dogs you know what i'm saying like to see ice spice uh come out the hood to see lola brooks come out the hood you know what i'm saying like um i seen something with lola brooks she was just saying how you know she was like living on section eight and stuff and then she got signed and first thing she like did that. was got out the hood like you know like that. so um i i truly believe that like you can go anywhere wally with your music i think your music is super influential Thank you. um you know you got artists like cardi b tapping in like if it's not if that doesn't give you the 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 push and the Yeah, so shout outs to you, thank you for thank believing you. in you. Thank you. You seen that? Um, yeah, that also. With, um, Snoop Dogg is like, I want to thank me for believing in me. That's yeah. what you got to do. You got to pat yourself on the back. Wow. Yeah. I've done it. I've done it. I also so, want to give a big, big shout out to, to, to Wally supporters, man, because uh, without you guys, without you guys tapping in, without you guys supporting, without you guys pushing, right. like, you know, these dreams can't happen. So a big shout out. Big big shout out to y'all, yo. Right. Yo, and, and I'ma also go ahead and say that one of these joints, or maybe two of these joints, will be in our top twenty rotation. Cause we're here, we we did we just starting off in this location. We're twenty three years in the business, but we just here at this location. So you like one of our I think you're the first guy on the morning influence. But we have a daily rotation that we're gonna be playing. We got an audience and it's gonna keep growing. As long as your people keep checking in or calling in to request the record. And we know that they listen and we're going to play the music. So that's all. It's support. support yeah, so me, if support. you guys want to hear more Bad Guy Wally, uh, you can give us a call at 718-708-5890 to request that song. So we're going to go straight into it right now with his exclusive, exclusive pre-release of the song Forever. You heard it here first at Party 101.9. Streaming online at Party1019.com. All right, we back in the building. That was dope. That was our first. Uh, that, first of all, I, I sat back here intentionally, y'all. If y'all see me back here, um, so I can let Tanny get her get her um her interview on, and she did a great job. Thank you, thank you. Um, I want to thank uh, Wally for being in the building today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, you guys came all the way down to show his new track again. That was the exclusive. Like that song didn't even come out yeah, yet. It's not even out yet. Forever it hasn't even come out yet, and we got the first. You heard it here, and you heard it first, okay? So if that one takes off, Wally, don't forget who showed you love. It ain't if, it's when. When. It's just a matter of when. It's, it is a matter of when. It definitely is a matter of when. And, you know, being here definitely gives you the opportunity, um, you know, for artists, upcoming artists, for sure, to get their tracks out, to get yourself heard. You know, if you aren't already playing all your songs at the clubs and stuff like that, you know, you get it live on air here at Party 101.9. So, you know, that was a very, very exclusive. You guys heard it here first. It drops this Thanksgiving, so check it out on all streaming platforms it's called forever thank you yes you know it's gonna be a good good tune i can't wait to hear it it's gonna be like your new boo thing kind of song it's giving uh christmas vibes with your boo holiday things holiday things with your boo ski so, so being that we, we going into the um the holiday season of of, of thanksgiving and then the, the the christmas um music wise like what do you what do you do family wise music wise like are you just running around for black friday performing are you just chilling with do you separate the family and the business time 
um, equally or you just be outside? No, 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 no. My outside days calm down heavily after COVID. I've been more inside than outside. I step outside when I have to. I'm, I'm a family man now. Oh, yeah. He has a baby. A brand new baby. To the first, one. first child. Yeah, my first one. God bless, baby girl. Baby girl, look at. You wanna shout blessing. out your baby girl? Shout out, baby Blair. <laughs> now shout out my baby Blair. Shout out to Blair, uh, family man now. So I guess you know having a kid definitely kept you in the career, kept you in the house, out of trouble, not being a bad guy. <laughs> I think I got PTSD, honestly, from from COVID. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to go nowhere. Did you, did, you, did you catch it? Did you catch COVID? I caught it twice. Oh yeah, Bro, I, I, I had it in 2020, too. Halloween, and it was the worst strain. You know, it was like yeah, two the, weeks. The first batch was the bad yeah. batch. The first batch was <laughs> the, the bad batch. The second one I caught it, I was good after the first. Me too. Day. No, but the first one had me, bro. Yeah, me too. Had me. I lost eight pounds, bro. Like in like two days. Oh no. Nah, I was not Jesus. eating. I had um. Nothing but the Gator lights, like them Pedialytes. That's yeah. all I could like take. Pedialyte and soup, and that was it. Other than that, and then it's funny because I knew I had COVID because um, it was my daughter's graduation. I was feeling so sick, but I was like, I can't miss the baby's graduation. I gotta <laughs> go. I was in the sun because it was in June, so you know they had like the graduations outside, yeah. and it, it was like ninety something degrees, bro. I was there sweating in the heat, just dying. But I'm like, I can't. And then um, everybody was like, Oh, you were right. I'm like, I don't know. I feel sick. So I didn't actually go out to dinner and I got home. I took the COVID test. I was like, bro, I had COVID, yo. And I was this sitting at the wild. graduation with COVID. But I wasn't going to miss my big graduation. Let me tell you, son. I was going. <laughs> that you, only happened. Or you was the one giving it to people. You know, I think my sister <laughs> gave it to me. I'm and not going to lie. And gave it to who? And I, I, I don't think I gave it to anyone because I had a mask on. And okay, I was like, okay. you know, staying kind of far. But I wasn't going to miss it for a day of my life. I was going. Now, me now, me, I caught it. And I, I was sick. I was like, I don't know if I have it or not. I took the COVID test. On my way back home from the COVID test, I bought some Starbucks. And when I drank it, it had nothing. It tastes like ice water. And I was and that's like, oh, how you knew. I knew it. That's how you knew, right? I, I couldn't it. smell nothing. I couldn't taste nothing in it. It was really like a sicky, achy. Ugh. Mm, I couldn't mean? taste, smell, eat, feel, think, love, feel. nothing. I was just in the bed for 10 days strong, <laughs> straight, dead, like half dead. But speaking of um, not going outside... The opposite of not going outside is going outside. So, so Tanya, <laughs> yeah. um, what clubs? What's what's popping this week? What's what's Whoa, in the clubs? What's, in the clubs, yeah. yeah, y'all got me messed up. I ain't in the club go with God. Let me tell well, you. the concerts, whatever you know. Oh, okay, so let's talk season. about it. Um, it's definitely concert season. So I don't know if you guys know. I believe today is the little Uzi Vert concert. Don't don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it's today. Um, so if you guys haven't copied your tickets, head out to Ticketmaster, you know, Subhub, wherever you guys get Seek Geek, wherever you guys get your tickets, and go check out my boy little Uzi Vert, because I just wanna rock. Buddy. <laughs> so you guys go rock at that concert tonight. Um, it's gonna be a really, really, really good time. And then my girl Doja Cat is performing on the 28th and no to lies on the 29th and the 30th the 29th i believe is at um barclay center and then on the 30th right is at um prudential center so um if you guys didn't get a chance copy your tickets to go see my girl doja you know what i'm saying we love doja cat that's like my favorite artist like of all time right now um so go cop her tickets and then also we have um Christmas time coming up, so you already know there's a bunch of like Christmas kind of concerts. Uh, I know uh, we got iHeartRadio who does like Jingle Ball, uh, so copy Jingle Ball tickets. I know Mariah Carey's doing her um, Christmas special. We all know that Mariah Carey's the queen of Christmas. She got it on lock. She definitely got it on lock with that. All I want for Christmas is you. Like that's it started playing since like Halloween, bro. <laughs> like and it's gonna be playing to like the New Year's. So she's having a concert. Um, doing her Christmas like special thing coming out that's gonna be I believe December 9th and then again they added a second show I believe on December 17th or 19th or something like that so if you guys want to take the family out uh, to go see something holiday special like um, go holla at uh, Mariah Carey she's coming out with her thing and then also uh, Rockefeller Center I believe they have the tree lighting coming up very shortly I forget what day it is, but I think it's sometime this week. So if you guys are family people, I know Wally got his little baby, baby. So if you guys have like little small children and you want to uh, keep the spirit of, you know, Christmas alive, go check out the uh, Rockefeller Center tree lighting. That is always very cute. Or if you have like a little boo or whatever, you guys could um, go do that. And I think that would be like a really romantic and really cool thing to do, like with your family. Um 
what I also wanted to get into was um, the inspirational quote of the day. So let's talk about it. Let's find us a nice, good quote. And I got a Monday quote for you because today is Monday, right? So the Monday morning quote that we have, this is from an unknown source. We don't know where this quote came from, but we're going to talk about it. This is your Monday morning reminder that you can handle whatever this week throws at you. Because, you know, it's Monday, right? It's beginning of the week. So if you can handle whatever you're going through on a Monday, I think it makes a good, like, ease into the week, right? Like, you So your on- week don't start on Sundays? Um, I mean, I feel like my week ends on Sunday. Not from the Sunday's like my, my end of day. I don't know, like... I always wondered that, like, too. When does the week start? Does it start on Sunday? Or Some calendars, start on calendars start on Sunday, actually. Calendars do you start. They, that's, they do. They yeah. do? <laughs> yeah, Sunday, Sunday's the first day of the week, really. Is it really, And though? if you think about it, it it's kind of easy going like, kind of day, so it kind you. that's the day you should, like, get your get your, get your your vibe and your mental the ready to... Um, the beginning of the week. No, it is. is. You, Sunday's are, you chal- the beginning. are you challenging me right First now? of all, I had to read it. It says, the Gregorian calendar currently uses in most countries is diverted from the Hebrew calendar, where Sunday is considered the beginning of the week. Although in Jerusalem, the Sabbath is on a Saturday, while Christianity is on the Sunday. Oh, now they're getting biblical. Here we go. The beginning of the week. Once they start, once they start doing that, then, you so know. apparently in the United States, Canada, China, Japan, and South America, Sunday isn't the beginning of the week. So I guess Sunday is, is the beginning of the week. Um, for me, I like to think of it as the ending of the week because, like, I get to wind down, you know, chill out, and then Monday my grind starts. So maybe it is what it is. I guess for religious purposes, they want to put Sunday as the first day of the week. But I feel like. And then I see something else here that says Sunday is not the first day of the week. Yeah, that's that's like Wikipedia. That's just lies, internet lies. Yo, let me tell you something. We you missed the event that happened last week that we didn't talk about. Um, Wu Tang celebrating their thirty year, thirty year thirty anniversary. year for Wu Tang. Yeah, they lit they lit the the Empire State Building up and everything for them. Really? Yeah. What day was that? I missed that. Um, I want to say when it might have been. No, it was like Thursday. No. What day? Th- it was like Thursday or Friday, I want to say. But they had like a, several events. I seen a couple of people out. Really? They have like this. I saw something about the locks um, playing, or like doing a concert upcoming, but I didn't hear nothing about Wu Tang. That's crazy. Yeah, no, 30 years. But so what we're going to do, deep. let's get into this method, man, this Wu Tang joint. Um, you know, I throw back, I throw back of the day. You know what we do on 101.9? This is the throwback station, your number one throwback station in New York City. So let's get into that. And um, let's show Wally how we do it, how we sh- how we salute to the hip hop. Right, right, right. Y'all seen the music? We're throwing it back. We're throwing it back. The new Party 1019, New York's number one for throwbacks. Hey there, hey there. Welcome back to the Morning Influence. Hi, good morning. I'm calling because I want to request a song. Ooh, who is? Who we talking to? Uh, I think. Huh? Uh, how you doing? Who we talking to? What's your name? Marianne. Hi, Marianne. Where you from? I'm from the Bronx. Oh, Bronx in the building Big all Bronx day energy. today. All right, so. Say, do they let you listen to what you want to listen to at your job or yeah so we act like they can't do what they want to do at their job no we're good here awesome. right, so we like that. We like that. you want he's still here you want to shout him out you want to say anything he hears you is it he can hear you the bad guy is still in the building we we, ha- we held him hostage for the, the second part of the show just the so he song could is fire thank you thank you thank you bad guys <laughs> oh yay All right, so <laughs> right now we got the the whole team just came up in the building, so we just having we just having general talk now for the second part of the show. Yeah. Um, we got we got a couple of things coming up. Um, we got some announcements. Um, this is gonna be a busy week this week and a family week. So we I'm happy we started it off like this. I know we got a couple of shows that's gonna be coming up on the I believe tomorrow we got somebody coming in and and then Wednesday we got a big show. 
Um, yeah. Shout out to uh, Good Luck Seabrook. She'll be in. That'll be her birthday show on Wednesday. So Wednesday afternoon um, will be a Good Luck Seabrook type yeah. of day. Um, so, yeah, I guess I also want to thank uh, the other bad guys for pulling in. We got bad guy stacks in the building. My bro ski over there. We got Goon in the building. Thank you for pulling up on us tonight. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to get into that uh, forever track for you. Like I said, um, you heard it here first before it's being released. It's releasing on Thanksgiving. Um, so uh, we're definitely going to get into that. So we appreciate him coming with that exclusive track for us in particularly, you know, came all the way down, long travel to be here today. Yes, yes, um, and that's the kind of motivation you guys need as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Don't let no distance stop you. You know what I'm saying? Keep pursuing your dreams, you know, keep hustling, keep making that song. Cause if it ain't that one, it might be the next one. And if it ain't that one, it might be the next one. Caller, you on the air. Hey, what's up, man? What it do, man? This is Oye Boy Rose. I see y'all bumping over there. Yeah, what's going on? Good morning. It's going, it's going. Top of the morning for everybody, man. How are everybody holding up? We doing good, we doing good. Where you from, bro? I'm from the Bronx, man. You hear it in my talk. I can't even hide it. I, I, you Wait, know what? I knew it. So do you believe, bro, do you believe that we Bronx guys and girls that have a different lingo than like Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan? Sure. And, then, and then, so, what's, what do you crazy. think is the difference? Like, if you stood next to, if somebody stood, stood you and a Brooklyn person next, a Brooklyn dude next to you, what, what's going to be the words we use that they don't use? It's going to be too many. It's going to be too many. Uh, Brooklyn niggas is a, a little bit more serious than we are. We a little bit more witty. Oh, say witty. that. <laughs> I agree. I think, I think okay. the Bronx are definitely more witty for sure. I feel like we're more aggressive nope. too. We joke a little hard. Hey, yo, right? big guy, I want to give a big shout out to. Bad guy, Wally, bad guy, Sax, the whole bad guy camp. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah. Them songs y'all playing on there is fire. I need to keep them on rotation, man. Yes, we will, bro. We will. We keep it like that. We need you guys to keep calling us in. You know, I'm going to also mention the phone number again so you guys can call throughout the week. Like, today's not only the, the only day we're playing this track, you know? As long as you guys want to hear it, you got to keep calling it in. The number is seven. Hey, yo, if y'all fuck with the OYA boys, hey, y'all hey, fuck hey, we on the radio. Guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we on the radio now. Now you gotta, ah. now you gotta use the inside voice. You can't use your Bronx voice now. Now we gotta, act, <laughs> you know? I, I, I gotta burn myself out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you guys wanna be in the Hey, listen, man, if the love is real, show the love. The love is free. If you mess with OYA boys, if you mess with bad guys, call in. Request a song. Let's keep it going. First meet and yard and yard and us. Let's keep it going. Right, right, right. That's what we love to hear. Again, our number is 718-708-5890. So if you so, want to call and keep that song on the top 10 playlist for the week. Top 20. Us, top 20. Well, we get, you know what? Top 10. We didn't get to top 20 100. yet. We don't know a lot. We don't know 10, 10 good artists yet. We didn't get them yet. So yeah, we got so. y'all got to show up and then we could, we could so like. But Tanny, what I wanted to say is yeah. we... We, I think, like you said, the shout out segment. You know, what what segment did you have that ori originally? I think that was early in the show. I think I had shout out. Oh, that's what that's social media when people are online or whatever. I think this segment is we're gonna leave it for when we have a guest after, so that we could do this, like get the calls and, uh, and let them get their love. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, the show love sure. segment. Yeah, that's cool. Because this phone gonna keep ringing now. Yeah, I know. Now yeah. that he done sent it out oh to the whole, whole. Everybody man. in the building. I appreciate all the love. Call the bad guy hotline. The bad guy hotline. Yo, 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 yo. Keep it clean. <laughs> hey, yo, Keep it clean, please. Hey, hey, yo, it's your boy Elephant Poppy checking in for the bad guys on this side, for the Oye boys on this side. Familia. Bad guys is cool. Supreme de la familia. We outside. We outside. So tell us, what is your favorite bad guy song? My favorite bad guy song is whatever bad guy song is out. <laughs> I just want to hear all his unreleased, whatever y'all got, just send it in. I'm on the train right now. I need some motivation. I'm saying, you know how we give it up in New York? We ain't nothing without that music. And what's your name? And where you from? I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx, LFM Pop. Could you tell? I've got another caller calling in. Thank you. Thank you for the, for the call. Play that. Gonna put somebody else on now. Caller, you live. Hi. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Who are we talking to and where are you from? This is Bad Guy's mom. Bad hey. Guy's mom. From Orange County, New York. Mama love. Oh, don't... Mama showing love. She's proud of her son. 
thing. And I love all his songs. Are you mom? Mom, are you listening? Or are you are you watching? Us I'm on listening. IG? I'm listening. You need to come see how you look on. on I, oh, you can't. You, all right, not too much. I'm on listening mom. on iHeart. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt, we support. For we, in. Oh. Oh. Now you know it, but it's real when Mom Duke's calling. Nah, that's up. a fact. Once I heard the voice, I already that's how you know. see. How, you see how to get that's people to watch their mouths, right? Because your moms will be like, well, "Boy, if you don't get them <laughs> heathens right. off off that line early Yo, in the morning." Love mom. Shout out to all the mothers yeah, out there. Not for nothing. Let's throwing it down on Thursday. Trying to get my mama to pull up one time for the one time. Look at Tanny trying to challenge you. Now. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not trying to challenge nobody's mama. No. So, so, Hello? Yo, caller, you live. Hey, what's up? This is Uncle Eddie, the one and only bad guy Wally, my nephew. Much love for him. I'm proud of him as well. And my, and my favorite song is, is his bust out song is Almighty Dykeman. Almighty Representing. Absolutely. Many strong, many God bless you. And shout out to you guys. Much love. I feel the energy is, is, is feeling good right now. And I, I work for iHeart, but in Tampa, Florida. And I just want to know that, uh, let you guys know that good luck to you guys. And I'll be shouting you guys out all oh, he the got, time. He got, yes, family, please, in, he got family in the system. Shout right. out to the iHeart family. We're, we're all, so I was all born and raised down. in the Bronx, too. All no, the way. No doubt. No doubt. Um, Yo, shout out to iHeart too, cause they 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 definitely gave me and Tanny a thousand dollars the other day to, to do what we needed to do. We was up, <laughs> bought a whole new camera off of iHeart. Fire, so my shout out to iHeart. You know, so if you are ever in tune, tell us to tune into us. It's party one one point nine in the building today, and our phone lines are going off crazy. Like, yeah, this is this is it. This is the, this is going to be the segment. We it's just going, going just leave back it. to back to back to back. So if you want your time to kind of shout out, you know, the bad guys, bad guys, Wally, you got any song requests? Now is the time to kind of do it. I'm just going to say the number again, and the number is 718-708-5890. So That's right. That's right. Yeah. Say anything Don't to forget, me. play the song. Play the song. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Try to be loved it as you. She, she also represented, and she did some videos, short videos with it, and it, it just, uh, it's just, it's flavor. It's, it's fire. He got some mad good songs, and I just want to somehow proud of him. All right, yo, we're going to get one more call, and then we're going to get into some, some of his songs. All right. We're going to get the callers what they what they asked for. Caller, you live. Oh, what's up? This bad guy, Vic. Bye. I'm shouting out the bad, bad guys. Guy. Yeah, you know, another bad guy. Shout out to the bad guys, you know. I seen bad guy Wally working. When he went to get signed, I was locked up for it. So, you know, I'm proud of him. I want to let everybody know that my brother's been working every day, day in and day out. Period. And, you know, showing and proving now. And the Bronx is in the building. The Bronx support, 845. You know, we in the building too. Period. And, you know, that's my brother, you heard? Yes, thank you, bro, for tuning in. We appreciate, appreciate you, all my brother. Love. All right, it's 11.30, so you know what time it is. Bad guy time. We're about to drop that record. Everybody that's tuned in, thank you for the love. Thank y'all for supporting. Let's Make go. Sure Bad keep, guys. Bad keep, guys. Keep these phone lines going. We'll be right back. Streaming online at Party1019.com. This is New York's number one for throwbacks. The, the new Party1019, a Nexus radio station. Bad guys. That was the song just called, you want to introduce the track? It's called Lowe's. Loads, uh, and who's on the track? It's me by myself. Oh, that's the bad guy all by himself. Callers is back. The callers is back. The callers is calling. Okay, hello. Hi, caller. What's your name and where you from? Hi, my name is Izzy. I'm calling from New York City. How are you? Oh, we're in New York City, baby. New York City is a big place. Yeah, what we, don't, we don't say that. Where you from? From for real. I'm from the Bronx, baby. <laughs> Big Bronx King today. Lie, Big Bronx King. Yeah, I feel like the whole BX is in Let me New find York. out when she be out of town in Florida, she be like, yeah, I'm from New York City. And not, and not yeah, saying right. the Bronx. What's that's... going on? Nah, 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 nah. I always say I'm from New York. I don't even go crazy and say I'm from New York City. I say I'm from New York. They already know. Nah, sis. You got to be like, I'm from, from the Bronx. Bronx like, exactly. Get about New York. <laughs> you got to be like, I'm, the Bronx is on the map now. You know what I'm Nah, but she want to make sure she get her, her orders and all that right. So you don't want nobody, you know. We got you. you. Right, right, right. <laughs> but you called in, you called in, so we appreciate you. You, you, you shouting out today, or you just Of shout course, out? I'm shouting out. Bad guys, all yay boys, representing the Bronx. Bad and I'm guys. 
super excited requesting the call, the phone, and everything. Everybody show love for other play on that radio. All right, where are you listening at? You on IG with us on the Matrix Studio, or you are you on a, um, the Party One On One on on uh, iHeart? On iHeart. Yeah. Dope, dope. All right. Keep saluting. I mean, keep keep supporting. We are definitely be playing the music every day. If y'all call up like this while what, when he's not there, this is what this is what real radio is, and we will definitely get the songs on if y'all requesting it. All right. That's what that's what. Yeah, we're supporting. requesting that, man. Tune in, tap in, everybody. Go follow my boys on IG too. You already know forever. Yeah. All right. Oh, so disrespectful. What's up? What's up? Almost happy birthday to you, good bro. Happy birthday. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to call in, call in. I'm gonna be Fanny saying not gonna be able to get a word in. I'm not gonna be able to get a word in, no lie, with the callers, <laughs> but I'm not even mad at it. I know you guys like probably tired of hearing my voice anyway, and I'm a little like down in the dumps anyway. So if you guys the audience Oh, do you tell me what happened to your cat? <sighs> guys, my cat died. Over a the horrible weekend. death too. No, why you gotta? I'm sorry. Why you have to like throw salt on my wait, wounds? When I, when I tapped in, I just heard the cat die. Oh, Bendito, like how. I know. And when you saw me, that was the first thing Wally said to me. He was like, "He's not such a bad guy, guys. He's a good guy." <laughs> he was like, "I'm sorry about your cat." I'm like, oh, man. Like I'm really hurt. Like I don't know if y'all know. Like I'm. I really feel like I lost my son. Like on, on some G shit. Excuse my language, but like seriously. Um, just because, like, that was my guy. Oh, we got Cola in. Cola, where you from? Hi. Yo, what's good? What's up? My name is Mike. I'm from the Bronx. How's it What's goody? Of course you're from the Bronx. We know that. It's a yeah, Bronx takeover point, right now. At this point, I need everybody to shout out their zip code. Okay? What's your zip code, bro? 10468. 10468 in the building. I'm Because, you know, we all from the Bronx. Everybody calling from the Bronx. So now I want to know your zip codes. Okay, and if you see me, yeah, I just want to, I just want to give a big shout out to my cousin Wally, man. Uh, it's all love. Keep grinding, keep shining, bro. I'm proud of you. Appreciate it, and you. it's all love, bro. Aww. Aww. Thank that's, you. that's actually my cousin on the So Icy. That's fa- this family ties right here. You heard? Oh, you was on the So Icy record. That's crazy because we just played that song. So if you want to hear yourself on the radio, call us in. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, nah. I appreciate you guys spinning that. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. We showing love today to the bad guys. Yeah, all love, man. Shout out to the bad guys. Shout out to the BX. Shout out to Molly with GH Temple Music. And just calling in to support my cousin. And keep grinding, bro. Keep shining. I'm proud of you, bro. I appreciate you, cuz. Bad guys, GH All love, all love. Bad guys in the building, man. Keep that song rotation, too, man. Keep that song forever on forever, you heard? Yeah, we got you. Forever. Cardi B voice, forever. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, love, cuz. Yo, love you more. Yo, so Tani, let me just tell you and Thadi, like this Baby. is this is what this is the feeling that I was trying to get back to. Um, that has been long lost in internet radio, which you know what what the Matrix Studios is known from this type of vibe, internet like showing the video and and do or everything you see them doing now with these podcasters, we've been doing been this since oh five, like on like live like this. So this is not when y'all see me going crazy back here trying to figure stuff out, it's because I just know that when we get it, it's going to be just like this. And I'm happy today. Today is exactly how it's supposed to be. So we we see we need a runner. We need Daddy needs an assistant back here to, to, to do the music so he can just <laughs> direct traffic. And we need we need we need you, Teddy. We just need you with your energy. You know, I'm unfortunately, here. you on a, on, oh, on, a, on on. No, I'm saying your, no your cat, your cat died oh. and you still came in with, with good energy. I mean, you could have oh. came in and threw the whole room off, but you didn't. Well, I was talking to someone yesterday, and shout out to my boy Malik. Uh, He is a blessing. had the cat as my emotional like person right and I looked at it like you know what he served his purpose right I'm in the best space I've ever been in my life right now I'm really happy you know what I'm saying so I feel like my cat in a spiritual way kind of served his purpose and it was like the the closing of one chapter and the opening of a next you know what I'm saying so um I kind of try to take it like that like you know I could let this emotionally 
take me to a dark place or emotionally bring me out and like try to look at it from like a positive perspective like you know what my cat served his purpose he was here to you know keep me company and things like that but now that my life is super great uh maybe I, you know he's he did what he was here to do so you know and then god took him when he needed to take him so so i got another question tell me do you get another pet right away or so do, you, do you need do you need like time to heal over no nah, i need over. time i need time to heal man i need time because um, some people some parents if the cat or the fish or something died they go and get another one real fast and try to one. trick the kid like like it's a whole new animal but like they look the same, the same fish that you had before you don't know but i'm not i'm not ready for another animal right now i feel like that was uh very emotional and i'm not ready to love something like that again and i think next time around i think i'm gonna go for dog first because i want a cat and a dog so i'm gonna do dog first and then get a cat after and then i want to kind of get a house because you know this apartment stuff with you know pets cats cool but dogs probably not i don't want to have my dog in an apartment so i want a dog i'm not ready yeah i want a dog too like so um i'll probably think about dogs shortly after i move again because i'm still in a little apartment in the bronx there's not much space but yeah no i think i'm okay yeah, you're going to be... Cool. I'm going to be lonely, though. You're going to be on the house on the hill real soon. I am. So that's why I'm not even stressing it. I'm like, you know what? It's it's part of the the game called life where I feel like I'm very balanced right now. Where I'm going through tragedy. At the same time, I feel like I'm having a lot of success. So I feel like right now, oddly enough, my life is super balanced. Like, it's not too crappy. It's not too great. Like, I'm literally... <laughs> I feel like the tragedy and, the, and, like, having you here kind of just balanced me out emotionally. Like, you know? So I'm sure. <laughs> with that yeah I, I i don't know if you see my eyes look puffy kind of ah. i'm crying all week and i'm, I'm ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they got me with the ah um so yeah i'm, I'm fine but I'll, I'll be okay I, i'll be good um no new pets right now no new friends <laughs> no new pets no, no new pets. pets no new pets no no new <laughs> <laughs> not yet i'm not ready um but soon i will so, so uh, this all right so i want to give this, me a dog this know. this brings us into yeah, 11 45 so we got a little time like you know when people say that you you know after you go through something hard like you need time to heal um that does that mean that when you do when you get into whatever the next thing job relationship pet that it ain't gonna start off with some drama at the beginning after you done took this time to heal and now you get into something new and now it's like it could be crazy right out the way right out the gate so are we just saying that you still need the time just so you don't go crazy when they go crazy what you would, mean can you explain that a little better you go over you're in a bad relationship dude uh -huh. was bad to you uh -huh. you take two years off to start dating again uh -huh. you get another relationship uh -huh. and this one's even worse like out the <laughs> gate like oh sheesh but you took all that time to heal for what like Honestly, that's me and my love life all the time. Oh, like, come on. I'm we're going to get you together, Tammy. I, no, for real? Like, we're going we're gonna to pick. We got the whole... bad guys with you, so we're going we gonna to screen them. We're going to be at the door like, like Will Smith and them. Not Will Smith. What movie was that? With, we um, can do the flavor 50 of cent them. with my. Yeah, no, no, man. 50 life. Cent them was in the. In, they, yeah, yeah. We're going. Y'all will be in on me. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us, tell, us, tell us about your. We don't want to hear about your bad love life, but tell us about it anyway. I'm the, oh, tell us about it anyway. What? Not not meaning we don't want to hear. We just Damn, we, we, we want to rid you of that. We girls rid you of that. call in and save me. <laughs> <laughs> save me. Um, you know, I just I just I just feel like I pick the same person in, in different skins all the time. So your pick is bad right now. Yeah, man. What's your type? That's what it is, you, bro. You but that's the type. thing, though. I don't even have a type. Yo. Well, that might be the problem. You gotta get some boundaries <laughs> in your life. <laughs> you just taking anything. Tammy, you Tammy, you just can't take anything. You somebody special. You I never said take. I could take anything. I'm not saying everybody is for me. What I'm just saying is, is like I don't have like a specific like race of men that I prefer. Like, like it don't matter how you come. You just have to like, I don't know. Let me not even say because I don't I feel like right after this. Phones are gonna start mad. ringing even more. Oh D, <laughs> like niggas gonna be the tanny hotline or something. I don't even know that. Um, no, I'm just chilling. I'm 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 good though. I feel like I've been single for a while. I, don't get me wrong, I get dates and having somebody pull up is easy because you guys so are dating singles. and single is two separate things, right? Dating, you do agree? Exactly. Like I I just because I'm single doesn't mean I'm not dating, doesn't mean I'm not, you know, living my best life. I just don't wanna commit to none of you guys. Cause you guys are bad guys. I want a good guy. Oh, pun intended. <laughs> pun intended. Wow. All the way. I want a good guy. I don't know. I just, you know what it is too. I also, I'm like nervous because I feel like I can't trust everybody, you know. And I feel like 
you know, as I become successful, like it's people just trying to ride my wave. Like, well, you or, see what's happening to Puffy right now. So you really, oh, I mean, man. no matter how successful you are, people gonna come gonna come at you, or they are gonna do weird things. Yeah, I don't so know I what like, side he's on or what side you on with the Puffy weird. Well, doing you weird sound thing. like you're on Puff side. I'm no, no, I'm just saying because. Everybody looked up to him for how many years, and now people are trying to tear him down. Like, I mean, not for nothing. I've been felt like low. Oh, not even not on some shade but harlem <laughs> they they have a a, a a tough exterior like they they talk crap they they stand on business like i don't know people acting weird bro like, oh. like oh he was mean to everybody okay what so what like, <laughs> have you yeah. been in new york city right like i mean i mean i think it's unfortunate i don't take uh domestic violence or abuse lightly at all um as a woman um i just feel like I believe some of the allegations were true, but you know, it's, it's what you settle for. Right. Like, I feel like that's what you wanted. Right. So I mean, I, I know it's hard. Yeah. Cause I feel like I have, I personally haven't been in any like domestic abuse situations or anything. Thank God. Not for what, so I'll take that. I'll take that over the bad picking that you've been, at least you've been, you ain't yeah, been picking. Like I haven't had nobody abuse. Picking me. ass with me. You know what I'm saying? Because no, no, I only say that to say this because you know I have very close family members and friends who have dealt with abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, really bad situations. That in my head, I'm like, yo, why don't you just leave? But then when I think about those people in those particular situations, it's not always easy to leave. You know what I'm saying? Or like, especially like if kids are involved or something like that. You know, uh, living situations are involved. Um, it makes it really hard. And um, you know, so I don't take those things lightly. And I start to think to myself, like, how could you ever? Like in my head, I'm like, how could you? But then. When I put myself in their shoes, it's probably harder, you know, while you're in it to get out of it. You know, like I've been there for friends and gone to help them through some crazy situations. And I'm just like, girl, and you're back with him again. Like, what is up? So it's like it's also a mental thing. So um, shout out to Cassie because, um, you know, for, yeah. for speaking out about it publicly, especially with a guy like Puff. I feel like he's such a powerhouse in the industry to like even go against, you know, Um so shout out to her for speaking about her piece. And if they were able to, you know, deal with it amicably, then shout outs to them. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yo. Shout outs to Cassie. Oh, um, welcome to the call in oh, line. Welcome, caller. It's your boy Banks, man. BX up, man. My boy Wiley. Bad guys, man. I wanna hear that rush, man. What you wanna hear? Rush, rush, rush. Oh, I don't have I don't have I don't have the clean version of that. Rush, rush. Yo, bank rush. <laughs> Yo, so throw that forever back on, man. Let's pop out, man. Oh, shout outs to forever. That's my shit. <laughs> so where you from? What's your zip code? I'm from the boogie down, man. What's your zip code? 10458. 10, 10, I'm from 10458 too. Shout outs to my Whoa. zip code. I'm originally from there. So shout out yeah, to my yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to say to Wally? He here. He hears you. Nah, yeah, man. Yo, I keep doing your thing, beloved. I love you, my bro. You, you already man. know, man. I appreciate you, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. BX up. You already, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, yeah. Yo, Wally, you already, my boy. I thought my brother good looking. Flower, so miss it. So, yeah, Wally, um, before we get out of here, we got we got about nine minutes, eight minutes strong. Um, anything else that you would want to? First of all, how many have it? How many radio interviews have you done thus Ooh. far? This is my first one. I, I had a feeling like because you was you you didn't seem green, but you just you just enjoyed the. You didn't seem green. Yeah, like he didn't he didn't he wasn't acting like he don't know what to do. But I I, I had the vibe like he appreciated this this whole situation Experience, that was right? going on. Well. You know this is where it all began, okay? I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, like, I just gave really you the segue for the commercial. Go ahead. Start, it really starts here, you know what I'm saying, and goes to where it goes. 
Um, yeah, let, let, let's do a quick rundown of who came up. Um, just, just to name a few. You could mute that one. Uh, so we had Nipsey Hussle was here mm-hmm. early in his career when he first started. Mm-hmm. We had J. Cole when mm-hmm. he first started. We actually had Nikki on the phone when, when at the beginning of her career. Mm-hmm. We had Megan Thee Stallion. Um, we had we AOC. Had, we, AOC. We had we Cardi. We had Remy. We had Papoose. We had K. Slay. Like, we could go all the way down the list. Period. like Because everybody that everybody else was able to get, we was able to get them. And you know we got them first. And, but, and you know where we got them to come to? The Bronx. The they Bronx. all came to the Bronx. Nipsey and all them sat up in the Bronx, the Northeast Who Bronx. Who was just talking about how he was out here at the Bronx one, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. so he was just saying that too. He's like, wait, no, I've been my, here. So everybody I'm, knows this logo, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you. That we DSM. put in some work. We, we definitely He's like, wait, work. I was here in the Bronx. Uh, shout out to y'all for that, man. Yeah, no, we coming up too. Like, you know, like, uh, we, you know, we started a certain kind of way and now we're growing. We're here on Wall Street now. You know, we also got a studio in Brooklyn. Yeah, you we know? acting brand new. We got a lot we of things going. And studios new. still in Bronx. We got we got broadcast <laughs> studios in the Bronx too. Bronx, Bronx Photo <laughs> Studio, Bronx Tail Studio. Yeah. My man DJ Kid New shout out, happy happy birthday to DJ Kid New. That's that he on one seven one seven four one seventy fourth right off of Prospect over in that area. Shout out to one seven four. Yeah, we, we 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 connected. The beautiful thing is that I, I I helped so many people get to where they need to get to. Shout out to Ty Boogie. Ty Boogie is a part of the Mitch Studio Studios shout as well too. Um, I helped a lot of people get to where they need to go by just doing what I was doing. And now like. They like yo D, you wanna come do a show here? Like they, everybody's showing me love, so I could do whatever I want to do wherever I want to do it. Here Pre- pra- basically, so I'm just happy to have done right by people for so long, you know, two decades, and now it's starting to come back, and I can help other artists coming up now. So Tanny, it's it's important you and Thadi are here because y'all know the next generation. I work, I teach kids in the school, so now I'm talking to the 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 the, the 12, 13 year olds, all the way up to the 16 year olds where I teach the podcasting in in Brooklyn. Um, and I play music. I play music to them, but I teach them while I'm playing the music. I don't. I don't try to sell them on the music. And whatever they gravitate to, then I'll tell the artist, "Yo, they rock. Them. That's the song." So now I'm gonna break music right. a different kind of way because trying to get it on these platforms is cool. But you could get young people to be like, "Oh, I like that." They start dancing to it. Right. Word of mouth really still works. Right. Like you know what I'm saying. And I feel like the younger generation um, are more in tune for some reason. Like they be knowing what's what's happening. So. Um, you know, I wanted to thank you also, DWI, for giving me and Athadi, you know, uh, you know, access because now it's like we're the new generation of radio. You know what I mean? Um, with people like DWI kind of holding us down and getting us out and seeing the talent that we have, and you know, even him having me here. You know, um, this is like a dream come true, and this is just where it's going to begin. You know, like Wally, we going places, bro. Like we That's coming up. I, you know what I'm saying? So, Period. So Wally, we want we, you got a couple of requests. So I don't remember what that last guy he requested. Could you just tell us what record that was that he asked for that you yeah. said you would play? The one he wanted was Dirty. So we don't have that. So yeah, what? Forever. Forever. All right. So we gonna get. And my boy from Harlem said, "Don't do that." Don't do what? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So um. Oh, look, someone said play loads again. All right, we only got we only got and the time is taking. We got three minutes, it's three solid. So which one you want? Maybe I'll do a mix. Put we'll load them up. All right, y'all. So um, I just want to say like uh, we are here at Party One Hundred One to make your studios every morning from ten a.m. to twelve p.m. And you could be here too. Do you have a podcast you want people to tune into? Are you an artist with a new song that you want to get played on air? Are you an entrepreneur or business owner or have an event you want us to support? Please send us an email at thematrixstudios at gmail.com or you can always call in at 718-708-5890.